Welcome to this week's entertainment news wrap. I'm Sean Owen. Aging girl group, the Spice Girls, spiced up the lives of devoted fans who came to see the first gig of their much-anticipated world tour in Vancouver on Sunday night. 16,000 fans, including David Beckham and hardcore emo rocker Avril Lavigne, turned up to the sellout concert to see the girls perform together for the first time since 1998. The performance was well received, however, some onlookers claimed the middle-aged girl group had mimed throughout their concert, something the band strongly denies. According to the band's official website, www.thespicegirls.com, everything is peachy and Jerry Halliwell has denied allegations of infighting between the band members. Furthermore, rumours that Cruz Beckham has given Bluebell Halliwell chickenpox are entirely unsubstantiated. Stuntman Evil Knievel has died at the age of 69 from pulmonary fibrosis, an incurable lung disease. Knievel was born in 1938 in Butte, Montana. After serving in the US Army, Knievel realised his true vocation as America's legendary daredevil. Famous for his death-defying motorcycle stunts, Knievel had broken more than 40 bones in his body by the time he'd retired. Scottish singer-songwriter Malcolm Middleton, formerly of the indie rock band Arab Strap, is releasing his Christmas single this year called We Are All Going To Die. According to the BBC News website, bookmakers William Hill set the odds of this single being a number one Christmas hit at 9 to 1. Middleton told the BBC website that people don't want to be lied to by Cliff Richard anymore and that maybe it's time we were told what's really waiting for us inside our Christmas stockings. The Scottish rap scene Nesbitt Soundalike is now on a mission to take the power back, stating on his MySpace website that we can change society for the better and show them who's really in charge of Christmas. The single will be available on iTunes from December the 10th. Are you Northern? Do you drink the dog? Well, not from December the 15th, when the famous Newcastle Brown will be renamed Maximo Brown Ale after the indie art rockster's Maximo Park. The Digital Spy website reported that the band were approached by the brewery to design a new label, which will be available when the band play the Newcastle Metro Radio Arena on December the 15th. And finally, Billy Bragg came to Yukon yesterday to give a lecture on what it means to be British. The session, held in the Harrington Building on Adelphi Street in Preston, is part of the Singers' Bill of Rights Roadshow. During the session, people were given the opportunity to discuss which freedoms they feel should be included in a new Bill of Rights. And that's all for this week's entertainment news wrap. More news, comments and features can be found at www.ukjournalism.co.uk forward slash newsweek.